Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your flash card in the router 3845 series. Right now we've got, uh, got a card which is 64 megabytes and I'm going to upgrade and put 2 gigabytes flash card in it. Uh, okay, so what we need to do, just make it happen well, okay so see what iOS is already on that flash card Right, okay, so if you want to upgrade and put a flash card bigger than one gigabyte, I think, or more, uh, this router is supporting up to four gigabytes. So if you want to put bigger flash card, you need to remember that you have to f format that flash card using uh, iOS, which is a uh, version like 12.4. If you wanna do this on the 15, that won't work because the uh, iOS 15 won't format that card properly. So you need to use uh, iOS version 12.4. Okay, so before we do that, we need to back up our uh, iOS. So we need to connect to our TFTP server copy it, remove the flash gun and put it back uh, put a new one back in okay so now just stick hmm. set up the interface for the IP address and copy to TFTP server Right, right now I think we should have a connectivity. That's it. Right, okay, so what we have to do now, copy our iOS into TFTP server. Copy slash TFTP. What was the iOS name?
seems like a big iOS. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> so now we can format this flashcard because I'm not going to use this anymore anyway. And it's very important uh, information here. You see, that's what we're talking about. Because you're using this, uh, because we're using that uh, iOS version 12.4. That means the the right uh, we format flashcard with special sectors, which you need to have them on a flashcard. Without this, uh, iOS won't be able to boot or router won't be able to boot from that flashcard that's why it's so important to have a, a iOS 12.4 okay now gently we can remove old 64 megabytes flashcard and put a new one which is 2 gigabytes and uh, just to show you what we've got here see it's 64 megabytes it's nothing on it at the moment and make sure that uh, nothing happening with the router I mean it's, it's not sending any data anything like that the flashcard should be in an idle state so nothing is happening so you can safely remove the flashcard Okay, as you can see, I removed uh, old one and I put a new one. And now what we have to do is we, we have to format flash. And you see, that's that's again that's very important that information here. And now you can see that's a new formatted partition. See, it's two gigabyte the flashcard already in the router. So what we have to do now is just copy back in from TFTP server our iOS, reboot it, and ready to go. We got the now two gigabyte flashcards. You can put a lot of data on it, more iOSs, whatever you want to do. Okay, so just copy that uh, iOS back into the flashcard.
And now, just reload the router. Now we don't want to save any configuration. Take a while. It wasn't too bad at the end. Okay, so see. There you are. You can see it's a new, the old new iOS is on a new flashcard, and we've got loads of available space. So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe and put some comments below. Thank you.